Hello everyone, let's try to be a cheat code ninja today. In this problem, we are given a string s and we have to check if this string can be constructed by taking a substring of it and appending multiple copies of that substring together. Let's understand this with the help of an example. In our first example, if we take the substring ab, we see that if we add multiple copies of it, we get the original string. So our result will be true. In our second example, if we take any substring, for example, AB, and if we add multiple copies of it, we'll not get the original string. So the result is false. In our last example, if we take the substring ABC, and if we add this multiple times, we'll get the same original string. Similarly, if we take the substring ABC, ABC, we see that if we add it one more time, we'll get the original string. Hence the output is true. Let's try to come up with an intuitive solution for this. Let's try to come up with a solution using this example. One obvious way to solve this is by taking all the substrings, starting from the first character, and then checking if that substring is repeated till the end of the string. For example, the substring A is not repeated, Hence, this substring is not valid. Now we'll check for the next substring. We see that this substring is repeated to construct the original string. Hence, this is valid. The time complexity of this solution would be O of n square because we have to check for each of the substrings. Let's try to come up with a better solution than this. One thing you can observe is that for any valid string, it will have a repeating pattern which when added to it multiple times will result in the original string. Hence the original string can be written as the concatenation of the repeating pattern. There is one more thing that you can observe is that the repeating pattern will at least be repeated twice. For example, AB is the repeating pattern, then there will be at least two instances of it. Let's consider the case when the repeating pattern is repeated only once. In this case, that pattern itself is the original string and we won't have any substring which when added to itself can result in the original string. Now let's check the scenario when we add the original string to itself. In this case, the pattern P will be repeated four times now. Now if we remove the first and the last character of the resultant string, our first and the last pattern will not be the same as the repeating pattern. But the resultant string will still have two repeated patterns. And since we need only two to form our original string, we can still find the original string after removing the first and the last character from the concatenated string. We can see that this will still be valid in the case of three repeated patterns in original string. If we remove the first and the last character from the resultant string, we'll still be able to find the original string because we'll still have three repeated patterns. Now let's take the scenario when the repeating pattern is the string itself. In that case, that pattern will be repeated only once. And now if we remove the first and the last character of the resultant string, we see that we won't be able to find the original string in it. Hence this method will work for both the negative and the positive scenario. The time complexity of this would be O of n because we have to search our original string in the resultant string and the space complexity will also be O of n because we'll have to store the concatenated string and its length will be 2n. Now let's implement our solution. Let's store our concatenated string by adding the original string with itself and since we have to ignore the first and the last character, we'll take a substring excluding those characters and now we'll check if our original string is part of the concatenated string after removing the first and the last character will return true or else will return false. We are now done with our solution. Let's submit it. You can see that our solution is accepted. If you have any doubts or concerns, please mention in the comments. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more such content. Thanks for watching.